hey guys, a common job that we do here in the New York City area is go on train jobs, public transportation jobs. And in this video, I'm gonna basically break down what not to do on these calls. Why? Because I just finished doing one and it just reminded me of the way that is the best to proceed on these type of assignments. Uh, the first thing I wanna tell you is this is an assignment that we're in, an, in, in the majority of cases are not happy with. Why? Because you have to search for this patient in a place where you have no reception. So if they're on the northbound side, the southbound side of the train, and the platform is extremely long, you is, sometimes it's hard to find them, especially if the person's unconscious and there's nowhere to get in contact with nobody because you're three to five stories underground. So these calls are a little bit uncomfortable because on top of what I just previously mentioned, you also have to carry all the equipment while you're looking for this person. But what I wanna tell you is what not to do on these calls. The first and foremost thing that you should not do is lose contact with your partner. You're already losing contact with the dispatcher. Don't try not to split up with your partner. You go that way, I go this way, and then you guys are both unable to communicate with each other. The second thing I wanna tell you is always realize that if you have CFRs on scene, a lot of them are eager to get out of there. And sometimes they're not as thorough as they should be. So don't take, hey, what's up bro? So yeah, the CFR sometimes want to get off scene as immediately as possible. They want to get back to their firehouse a lot of times. So you have to double check what they say. For example, on this last call, they said, oh, you don't need the stretcher. Don't worry about it. I said, yes, we do. And we bring it anyway. And luckily we did because the patient didn't want to walk. He was able to, but he didn't want to. So we saved ourselves a trip from going back to the ambulance if we would have taking his advice that's what we would have to done gone back to the ambulance go to a scene unprepared remember this video it says what you should bring on every single scene and i followed my own advice brought it and we needed it and i'm glad we didn't listen to the cfr so that's another thing don't 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 take like if a cfr gives you advice on what to bring you should take his advice because they've been there before you have but if what they're telling you not to bring is something that you know you're supposed to bring on every single call, bring it anyway, right? So again, don't separate yourself from your partner. Double check what CFRs say. And last but not least, always remember you're being watched. Everything that you do, every step that you take is documented. So if you're gonna get an RMA, Remember, watch this video, the right way to get an RMA. If you're gonna do anything, do right for the patient. On the, on the subway station or without being in the subway station. In a dark alley or in Times Square while the ball is dropping, whenever. But especially in these type of calls because the person that you least suspect that is recording you or the footage from the train station is also recording you so always do your thing dot your i's cross your t's and i think that's it all right guys i hope this helps if i miss anything comment down below if you have any questions go ahead and ask i got you peace